Good afternoon everyone and welcome to the Viper Bite Network. Today Missy and I are at General Butler State Park in Carrollton, Kentucky. It's a beautiful Saturday afternoon here in uh, late September or mid-September and uh, one of the issues that's uh, happened here at this park unfortunately is it's had an infestation of the ash borer. However, um, that has provided us with a opportunity to uh, do some uh, field and use testing on uh, some bushcraft and survival tools or camp tools um, in processing wood and uh, to, uh, today I've been doing a number of tests which is why I'm a little bit out of breath but uh, right now we're getting ready to do the Ontario Spec Plus uh, S SP8 so this is what they call kind of a machete tool. So you can see here, it has a sharp edge here and a nice edge here. Looks to be about a quarter inch thick. Um, got a nice rubberized handle. Got a nice lanyard on it. Keep it from getting out of your hand. Um, and uh, it also comes with this kind of leather nylon sheath. Uh, holds it in there real well. Got a area here to strap on your belt so you can be a high fashion survivalist. So what do you think of that Missy? Would you wear that? Oh hell no. Okay, didn't think so. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's uh, I have actually used this before out in the field, just never did a video. It chops pretty well. I'm just gonna kind of show you uh, some of the things here it does. So hopefully I don't have a coronary and uh, I know CPR you're good vapor lock so yeah Missy knows uh, CPR she better uh, she's a nursing student so all right we're gonna go ahead I'm gonna try to chop through this looks like it's about a three maybe three and a half four inch uh, log and uh, we're processing some firewood for tonight so we'll go ahead and get started hardest part is is my uh, anvil here is kind of crooked so I'm not getting a good square uh, on my footing putting some power behind it now that's chopping through it pretty good um, not really feeling I'm feeling a little vibration on the handle um, of course, I'm hitting it pretty hard. Um, let's see here if I can knock a few. <laughs> this is not this knife doing this. I've been pounding on wood doing about three four reviews and uh, almost got her We're almost there. Take just a little break here. The blade is definitely holding up well. Now these are not like razor sharp coming out of the box. They're more of a kind of a punishing pounding tool. And I definitely would want to get that a little sharper. Let's see here if I can get a good couple swings and knock this out. A 
you think this looks bad, folks, you ought to see me carve a turkey. <laughs> Okay, I'm about wore out. Like I said, it is in this tool. I'm just been uh, pounding quite a bit processing firewood with other tools. But uh, overall, I think it's doing a pretty good job. Uh, this also comes with a little saw. I don't know how effective that is. Um, one thing <coughs> in using it before, where I've batoned with it, is that these teeth here, if it's a smaller piece of wood, tend to beat up your batoning stick pretty bad, but it is good and flat here. So, overall, Ontario SP8 Machete Survival Tool, I'd give it a thumbs up. Like I said, I've used it a couple of times, so take care. Please subscribe to the Viper Bite Network and uh, leave any comments. I appreciate uh, positive and negative ones uh, on how I can improve these videos. So, and uh, that's about it. Take care, have fun, be safe.